Simulation and simulator games have pretty much spread across all sorts of themes and subgenres from physics simulators, first person games, driving sims, tycoon games, colony sims, and more. So here's a variety pack of upcoming games beginning with Pigeon Simulator, a wacky animal based physics sandbox sim following in the footsteps of games like Goat Simulator. Play as a time traveling pigeon who has to stop a goose getting up to all sorts of hijinks along the way, including becoming massive, spitting fire, or transforming into an anthropomorphic version that walks on two legs. The unfortunate news is that this developer got caught up in industry layoffs, so the future of the project is up in the air, but perhaps it might get picked up by another publisher someday. An impressive looking title is New Cycle, a survival colony sim in which you're establishing a new civilization after an apocalyptic solar flare, playing as the leader in a new cycle of humanity. It looks gorgeous and has frost punk vibes, but in a different kind of post apocalypse, of course, and will be out very soon in January. Tycoon and Management Sims are a very classic kind of simulation game with business heroes, street grub, looking like one of interest in which you're creating a food truck empire beginning with just one truck. There are economic decisions to be made based on the situation of the economy in which your decisions will be critical to the survival of your business. In addition to knowing when to buy a new truck and where to locate it, you have to consider factors like inventory management, staff happiness, weather, customer preferences, pricing and so much more. A fun looking tycoon simulation title is Orkish Inn, one in which you play as an orc running set inn, having to farm for ingredients in order to produce food for your customers. The farming here is more for the brewing of various types of beer, from hops, oats, sugar beets and more, with the different types of beer influencing the type of customer that you attract. There's also additional resource gathering elements like chopping down trees to get wood, so that you can construct new buildings or even to renovate and expand your inn. This is a very long in development title since it has been in some sort of development since 2014, so 10 years seems like a nice number for it to release. Religion is always a touchy subject, but I have to point out the sheer genius of I Am Jesus Christ, a first person simulation title which details the story of the Son of God from birth until resurrection. I believe this is being played straight and that it's not meant to be a meme game, but I'm sure that people will find ways to mess around with the simulation. Still, creating miracles like walking on water or turning water into wine looks interesting and has gone massively viral on social media, although it is coming to us from Polish publisher Playway who has a record of throwing up Steam pages and then choosing which project to develop based on their relative popularity, but given how this game seems to be going, it will more than likely be made. I have a couple of colony sims in this video with the intention to have pure city builders in another list with a promising title being No Land, a Rimworld style colony sim but in medieval times instead. You have to manage a noble family which owns a city, having various types of citizens to deal with from peasants, slaves, criminals, business owners and more. Each member of the family can be assigned a task and in colony sim fashion, every character has their own personality traits and will form complex relationships with each other, with the emergent stories being key. In addition to internal issues, there will be external threats so you need to build your army and defenses as well as manage diplomacy with other kingdoms looking to be another standout title in the space. Here's another colony sim with more of a sci-fi slant in Ascent of Ashes, a game set in a post-apocalyptic dystopia in which your survivors have to deal with raiders, aliens and more. You will have your own home base for your survivors which you need to defend and expand since that is the place where you can grow food for example but then have to venture out to get resources in a manner not unlike a zombie survival game but as mentioned, the enemies are not the box standard undead but has more variety to them. Combat is also real time with paws so it is different as well with hit simulation and even a health system for character damage. Your survivors will also have unique personalities and motivations which you need to manage and has quite a unique look as well. I 
I suppose the simulation genre really does include a number of tavern keeper or innkeeper type games, with the simply titled Innkeep being one of interest. On the surface, this looks like a fairly box standard one of these, in which you have to serve your customers to keep them happy, but there is a darker twist here. Think Graveyard Keeper and you know what I mean. For example, there is a lack of food, so you could serve your customers red meat from the vermin that you catch, or water down the wine just a little, but then as you eavesdrop on your customers, you realise that they might not be good people, so what's a little theft as you help yourself to their belongings? Then, things get even weirder since you're able to summon demons and more, all against the backdrop of a brutal medieval world with no laws and figures to be a fantastic title. With the popularity of Euro Truck Simulator and its sequel, and even games like American Truck Simulator, there have been quite a number of these trucker driving sims of various types, with one of the more interesting ones being Star Trucker. Yes, Humanity is now a space-faring civilization, but somehow, the most efficient way to transport cargo is still trucks. Space trucks, that is, which still requires a driver, so hop on into the driver's seat and get to work. I love that this is a spin on the formula that feels fresh, but still has some very earthly things like CB radio to listen to, as well as hyper-highways in space, with, of course, the space truck requiring maintenance as well, and it's something different to check out. Now this title is the definition of a meme game and has gone viral as well, leading of course to game dev discourse, since people have dragged other developers for meticulously crafting their bespoke indie game, and then this guy comes along and just says, squirrel with a gun, lol. But there is certainly a method to the madness and I'm not belittling this developer in any way. As advertised, this follows a long line of animal simulator titles like Goat Simulator, but rather than being a cheap knockoff, seems to have interesting ideas of its own. For example, there are residents in the neighborhood, and you can help them out in exchange for rewards, or you could just mug them with your gun, so it's that kind of insanity that this game will have. Additionally, there are secret agent types that will do kung fu moves on you so you need to fend them off, looking to be another crazy entry in the world of simulator games. Perhaps the developer of the physics-based off-road driving game is Saber Interactive, having made games like Mud Runner and Snow Runner, with both being massive cash cows for this developer based on the support and paid DLC that they have been releasing, since Snow Runner, for example, is up to season 11, with the next game in this series being Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. If you're not familiar, this has you driving vehicles in off-road conditions, with winches and other tools to help you when you inevitably get stuck in the mud, but the physics simulation here is very impressive. This game instead has you embarking on research missions across treacherous terrain, with advanced tools and equipment like drones and echo sounders in play, and looks to be more of this style of game. Developer Greenheart Games is one of the most successful indie developers of all time, with their first game, Game Dev Tycoon from 2013, having an astounding 36,700 Steam reviews as of recording, which by some estimates translates to at least 2.5 million copies sold on Steam alone, not counting other platforms, and at $10 per copy means serious cash for this team of just two developers, which makes their next game, Tavern Keeper, one of interest. Development on this game actually started back in 2014 and has been in some form of alpha since then, where it appears that they are finally getting close to the release of this tycoon simulation title in which you run a tavern in a medieval fantasy world. It is only a cinematic trailer, so you have to wait to see what it looks like in motion, but where it looks like a fairly standard one of these, but given the pedigree, I'm definitely interested to see their take on the idea.
I was very excited when I came to know of Anvil Empires, since it comes to us from the developer of Foxhole, a military combat simulation MMO in which every soldier on the battlefield is an actual human player and they're looking to do the same but in medieval times instead with this game. The hope is that thousands of players will participate in battle in real time, stemming all the way back to farming and growing food to mining, refining ore and making weapons, and then shipping these to the front lines for soldiers to use, which sounds insanely ambitious, but they have done it before with Foxhole and there isn't anything like this on the market. From the developer of the spooky horror title Dark comes Bloody Hell Hotel, a first-person title in which you play as a vampire, attempting to revitalize your estate which has fallen into ruin, but first turning it into a hotel, attracting customers and renovating the place. There's farming, foraging, crafting and even combat as you delve into the crypts and caves between the manor on top of having to take care of your customers. There's of course a darker twist since you can feed on your guests by draining them of blood and then using their meat as an ingredient in the food that you prepare, being pretty macabre but wholly unique, especially since it uses a first-person perspective. One of the most gorgeous looking games in development is the first-person live sim title in a cyberpunk setting, Nivalis, which is the sequel to Cloudpunk in which you played as a delivery driver navigating these very streets, but now you're just attempting to live your life in the city. You can start a small business and eventually work your way up to owning a restaurant or a pub, with the realistic life sim elements like a day-night cycle, weather and more being present here. You can get to know the different characters, grow food, go fishing and more, all set in this very cyberpunk backdrop of criminal gangs wanting to harvest your organs or the corruption and law enforcement affecting your daily life. So I do wonder how in-depth the simulation will be, but it looks to be one of the most beautiful and promising games. If you prefer more action, check out this video on upcoming action RPGs.